Greetings everyone. So today we're going to talk about, let's see what's on my list. How to buy HDMI cables, what to look for. So stay tuned. Okay, so when you're buying HDMI cables, there's certain things you want to look for. And I'm going to go over five things, five key points that you want to look for when you're buying HDMI cables. First off, there's a bunch of cables on the market, you know, different labels, different stuff but you want to look for cable that's rated for 4K TV. Even if you don't have a 4K TV right now, might as well you just get a cable that's rated for 4K. Now there's some that's out there for 8K TVs. If you have those, that's fine, but there's no real content out there like I mentioned previously in a previous video I did about buying TVs that's taking advantage of 8K formats. Now make sure when you buy those cables, they have some type of label on them, either 4K, high speed, but something to let you know that that cable is actually made for 4K. So look for the label, look for the markings on that cable, somewhere on the head, somewhere on the cord, somewhere. The next thing you want to make sure you look for is cables that's braided. Braided cables last longer than the one that's just rubber cables. The braided cables can take more twists and turns and bending and stuff like that and they last longer because they can handle that type of stress. The rubber cables, they can handle to a certain degree but over time they start wearing out and you start going to have problems with pinch cables and stuff like that. The next thing you want to look for is to make sure the cable is rated for HDMI 2.0 or 2.1. Anything less than the 2.0 rating, you're going to start losing some video and audio quality that you can get from these cables. Number four, you want to look for cables that has gold plated tips. Most of the cables on the market now does have gold plated tip, but there's a few out there that still has the chrome tips or silver tips, whichever way you want to call it. Now there's nothing wrong with using the chrome or silver tip cables, but the gold plated cable can resist corrosion longer over a period of time. And if corrosion builds up on that cable, it's going to reduce your visual quality and your audio quality. And last but not least, watch the length of that cable. Don't get too much. Get just enough that you need to connect your device to your TV and your soundbar to your TV. The maximum effective length that you want to get on a high speed 4K cable is 3 meters or 10 feet. And if you choose to get the 8K cable, the maximum effective length on those cables is 5 meters or 16 feet. So those are the 5 key things that you want to look for if you plan on buying some HDMI cable. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave it in the comment section. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.